Welcome to YourLocalNote.com. My name's RJ. Mike has the night off tonight, and we are hanging with Elise DeDorian. That's who we're featuring tonight for uh, the podcast, and we'll be getting to her in just a few minutes. want to remind you that we are streaming live 24-7. Also, you can check out our live events page when you want to see who's playing where and really want to remind you quickly about our apps. They're absolutely free. We've got them for Android and also the iPhone. Just go to their respective stores and type in YLA. And download it for free, and you can check out uh, the streaming 24-7 right here on yourlocalnote.com. All right, let's get to it. We've got uh, Elise Dorian. The song is called American Made right here on yourlocalnote.com. He was born second son of 11, southern Sicily, 1907. He turned 13, he packed up a bag and left that day. Born in a Across the ocean, saw Lady Liberty and wept with emotion. Learned to trade and the language, and somehow found his way. Coast to coast, station to station, facing fear and the alienation. To pure hat to the dues that he American Made, and that's Elise DeDorian. Elise, thank you so much for joining us, and welcome to yourlocalnote.com. Thank you for having me. Okay, uh, let's introduce everybody who's here with you tonight. Okay, I'm Elise DeDorian, okay. and this is Dan May. How you doing? And that's Tom Hampton over there playing the guitar. All right, very good, and they'll be helping you out a little later. You're going to do a, a live uh, song for us? Yes, we are. Excellent. All right, uh, let's talk about uh, American Made uh, before we get into your background. Okay. Um, you wrote that song? Uh, Dan Dan wrote that song. Okay, let's talk about what that song's about. That song's it's a uh, paying tribute to uh, immigrants. Okay, it's about uh, people that came from another country that have added to the fabric of the of America. And okay, it was uh, inspired by I was had a cheesesteak down at uh, a cheesesteak restaurant in Philly, and there was a sign up said, you know. You can't okay. speak English, don't <laughs> yeah. order. You okay, that, yes. We, we know who that is. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it was in response to that because that gentleman, I believe, his parents probably came from Italy. Yes. And uh, I'm guessing they didn't speak English when they arrived. No, that's true. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so it was kind of, you know, I felt like people that come and, and contribute should be recognized. Sure, absolutely. How quickly we forget. So that's what American Made is. It's okay. a tribute to 
uh, immigrants that came in. Uh, and and did you uh, showcase that song for Elise? Elise, what what made you want to re- record this song? Well, this song is really special to me because my grandparents came from Armenia okay. into America, so it's a little bit personal too, I guess. Okay, so it, it struck a chord with you. Yes, absolutely oh, great. All right, let's let's then take a step back and and um, Elise, what what made you decide to to look at music and say this this is what I want to do <laughs> as a career? Well, I've always loved singing, and when I was about four, I started taking piano lessons, but that just didn't really work out, and with the same person, I discovered that I loved to sing, Mm -hmm. and ever since I was about five, I guess, I've just been taking voice lessons with her, and it's just always been something I've loved to do, and then I started doing shows, and then I met Dan, and he started writing songs, and we just went into the studio, and it was a great experience. Okay, and the name of your album is called Simple Truth? Yes. Okay, and most of the songs are written by you, Dan? I, I wrote most of them, but we co-wrote some. Tom co-wrote okay. some of the songs. Elise did. Elise is contributing yeah. also oh, yeah, to the right? absolutely. Writing. Okay, very cool. What what brought you to, or what uh, got you to the point where you said, you know what, I want to present these songs to Elise? I, I You know, how did you two meet and, well, was, and things uh, like that? I'm a friend of Dan's, her father. Okay. And... Um, he had uh, been given an iPod that had some music on it by me and I liked it. And then we became friends after that. And, and at one point, Elise had been working on some songs and Dan said, you know, I'd like to kind of pursue this and maybe, and he, he thought maybe I could help her out. And so we got together and worked on some songs and, uh, and then we, we started recording a few and decided to put an album out in it. Okay. Very well received. All right. Now, did you produce the album yourself? or is I co-produced this... it with Glenn Barrett at Morningstar Studios. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And and how was that experience, Elise? That was fantastic. I mean, the response that I got, it's still, it's getting out there as we speak, but still just knowing that I can make people happy by doing what I love is really great. Okay. Now, who, who do you listen to when you're not just singing your own stuff? <laughs> Well, obviously, Dan May. I mean, okay, of course. <laughs> Amazing. That goes without saying. Yeah. Um, and I guess I listen to a lot of different people, but the most common one, I guess, is Taylor Swift. Okay. I think it's Adele, too. Yeah. She, oh, she's, got, she's got some voice. Um, Taylor Swift, you know, is from the Reading area. Mm hmm. And I actually, I was fortunate enough to play her first song on a radio oh, station yeah. I was running. And she uh, called in and intro the song. It was from her, she was from that area, it was <laughs> Lancaster area. And uh, she introduced the song. Uh, here's uh, my uh, first song on my hometown radio station. Oh she was like 12 or something? She was 14 at the... No, she was 16 at the time. 16. I mean, she moved down to Nashville when she was 14. So, and then we had her at a show. And she's, uh, she's, uh, she was a wonderful person, great to work with, works yeah. really, really hard. She was there, sang for half an hour, and we, had a sh- we put on a show. She was the opening act sang for a half hour, and then signed autographs and took pictures for three hours. Wow. You know, and, and that's the stuff that she did. And that's why her fans love her, because she she really knew how to relate to them, and she mm-hmm. took care of them. And, and that's an important thing. So it was very I cool. I think Elise is kind of learning that lesson. She she did her CD release last week, and there were a lot of a lot of kids there that wanted her autograph. Right. How was that? Uh, Pretty cool, oh, huh? That was awesome. <laughs> A lot of fun. Yeah, the thing is, um, I, you know, I ran some country stations, uh, and the Nashville people really know how to do it. They they really understand how to relate to their audience, how to take care of their listeners, and their listeners are very, very, and their fans are very, very loyal to them. So if you if you want to learn something about music, Nashville is a great city uh, to go down and visit and watch what those what they do. It's 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 an amazing thing, great experience. And mm-hmm. you go to the you go down Main Street. Uh, one of the main streets, I should say, not Main Street, and the bars there, and they're playing for tips. All these guys are playing. They have their hats out there, and they're playing, and they and they play for hours, and uh, they just play for tips at all these different bars. You just walk up and down. You can go in, and the talent's amazing. So it's it's some good stuff. Yeah. So, all right, let's go to uh, song number two, uh, the the simple truth. Uh, Dan, can you tell us a little bit about this song? Uh, that song's about. It's the title track, and it's kind of about realizing that somebody meant more to you after the breakup than you realized during the relationship. 
Okay. Breakup song. Very good. Uh, and you know, like fourteen year olds, they have a lot of breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to write for the, for the it's, talent. <laughs> it's you know, it's it's every other week, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, till at least. All right. The song is called Simple Truth. It's the title track from Elise Dorian's album, and this is yourlocalnote.com. Call it what you will, but cover me until I can pull myself out of this dusty gray. Writing on the wall And echoes in the hall Thoughts of you and me a Thousand yesterdays If I never mention Just how much you really meant to me Sometimes the words I tried to say Fell somewhere in between Between who you thought I was And who you hoped I'd be The simple truth no more Part of me was you, I guess Running out of steam Life for so it seems As the song says is nothing but a dream And I don't want to wake To face my big mistake And this missing you Is more than I can take If I never mentioned Just how much you really meant to me Sometimes I tried to say fell somewhere in between Between who you thought I was and who you hoped I'd be The simple truth, no more, no less Best part of me was you, I guess As you row, row, row your boat gently down the Just how much you really meant to me Sometimes the words I try to say Fell somewhere in between Between who you thought I was And who you hoped I'd be The simple truth, no more, no less Best part of me was you, I guess song is called Simple Truth. That is the title track of Elise Dorian's song. She's hanging with us uh, along with Dan and Tom uh, with the podcast on yourlocalnote.com. Uh, Elise, what what brought you to sing this song, Simple Truth? What what did you like about this song? What appealed to you? Well, I, I mean, being written by Dan, I mean, it's just amazing anyway. Okay. <laughs> He's so talented. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the, I think it was actually the first song that he wrote for me. So it just was very special from the beginning. Plus, she wasn't too choosy there at the beginning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How, now, you, you, I mean, you're you're writing for her. You're helping her with a, a lot of aspects with, with the music, Dan. Um, right. And, you know, she brings a lot to the table, though. I mean, even you had asked her about the studio experience. She mm-hmm. definitely has an opinion in the studio. Okay. How, how she wants things. And, um, you know, so you, a lot should, of kids would be overwhelmed sure. by that the experience. She's not like that. So you're not intimidated with all these guys running around. You're, you're, you're like, you know what? This is my song. So. It's great. No, it's great. <laughs> and we did a, we <laughs> went out nice to California people. to the tour this summer. And oh, so okay. She got a taste of, of you know, touring. Tra- touring a bit. Yeah. Uh, how did you like that? Well, it was very rock and roll. <laughs> Dan will tell you all about that. Yeah. Uh, we were just at a CD release party. We were making the joke about we were, we were kind of teaching her the, the rock lifestyle, which yes. included getting up at 6 a.m. and walking in the mountains and picking blueberries. Sure. Know? Just like Mick Jagger <laughs> used to do. That, that, <laughs> that says rock and roll to me. Uh, come on. I had to take my inflatable mattress because of my bad back. Okay. You know, those sort of things. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. See what you have to look forward to, Elise? <laughs> no, that, that, that's, that's fun. So what other, I mean, as, as you're going along, mm-hmm. um, you know, this is a, a new experience for you. I mean, are you going to concentrate on songwriting? Is that something that you think is very important to you? Or do you like to pick and choose the songs? I think both. I mean, for the next album, which we are currently working on, I'd love to 
do a lot more original stuff because I think it gives it a bit more. I make I think it makes it more personal when it's when you by. when you do the writing. Yes. Okay. But Dan is still again so amazing. So I still he helps me write, and we're gonna co-write a lot more on this album. So Dan, when you were writing these songs, and as you said, you were writing for uh, younger people. I mean, did you talk to her as you as you got an idea for a song? Is that something you did to sort of help you move forward? I tried to write th- th- from her voice, where it would you know it was a message that w- could be delivered by somebody her age, okay. effectively. But I mean, some of the songs like "An Eye for an Eye," which has um, been a very popular song, uh, that was totally her idea. She got. She had been, uh, well, go ahead and you can tell them where you got the idea from. Oh, yeah. So I was in history class in about seventh grade, I think. And we were studying Gandhi and everyone. And I came across one of his quotes, which was, an eye for an eye will make the world go blind. And I just thought that was a great quote. And I brought it to Dan and he turned it into a song. So little things like that can just turn into... Well, that's it's what magic. that's what it takes sometimes. It's just you know a riff or yeah. uh, just a couple words, and it's like okay, here's a great idea. All right. And she's got uh, she's got a real good sense of of melody and mm-hmm. uh, lyrical cadence. So I mean, she even the songs that I wrote for her, she had input. Okay, and, and, you know she would you know alter them slightly to. And 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 you're okay with that? I'm okay with that because because that's got to be a little difficult, don't you think? (laughs) Well, I have you know I have my own albums, so I right not like, but I I want her to learn. That's my objective. Okay, to make her a better artist and songwriter. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, it's also you know being a little bit flexible. I think. Well, absolutely. You know that that's that's a key. You I'm you probably have to be more flexible than anybody since you're guiding a little bit yeah try to but she's uh, like i said she's a quick study and she's um, <laughs> just fun to work with and she's like a 50 50 year old man oh I- <laughs> <laughs> that's why Thanks. i get along with her that, that there is a compliment there at least there really is I, I i can i can hear the compliment so so at least you you, you get these songs and uh, th- this is new to you as far as writing and stuff yes uh, is there are there things that you have come across that you said oh geez I I I wish we could have done this but it 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 wasn't really working for you. I think I mean everything, especially on the album, as far as it goes. I think everything just turned out the way I wanted it to. Really, it's, everything's great. So were you, you were listening step by step as the album was being produced? Oh yeah, there's there's several steps, um, and a lot of work goes into it. And I think it's really great because every song has its own message, and Really, I consider every song like a different genre almost. Okay. It was, that was kind of a deliberate. Yeah. You know, we wanted to, you know, kind of go across the board and find out what was best for her, what yeah. style like suits her. All and, types of uh, music. So yeah. we wanted to well, do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Well, you, you've got such a, a, a strong voice that I, I can, it, and it's versatile, so she probably can do a, a, a few different. She can. You know, she does musical theater, so that kind of. That that helps, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I sure. So, but I mean, I can I can hear you really rocking out on the song, and then you can hear <laughs> some of the softer songs. You know, your voice really comes through and comes strong. So uh, that that's that's nice to have that versatility. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's. Uh, we 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 talked a, a little bit about. Um, Eye for an eye, but uh, that's one of the songs on the album. Uh, now you said all these songs they're they're a little bit different. There's not a running theme through these there songs. Is a theme. Um, what is the theme? <laughs> <laughs> you <Tom>? tell me. <laughs> life in general. Life. No, no, no. <laughs> that's pretty broad. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I'm just the trying to help you life. out here, Dan. <laughs> Throwing you a lifeline. <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank at the moment. <laughs> No, it's, um, it was, it's a social conscious, you know, okay. social consciousness and, and delivered in through the voice of a child. Okay. Um, you know, it's like a, a child will lead us kind of thing, but it's some of the, uh, the subject matter is there, it's making social statements. Sure. Um, there's a song about, you know, follow it's, it's the one, the one song's about don't follow what other kids do. Right. Sort of yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Be, be um, your own person. Yeah. And there's one that's. Uh, the one that we're going to play live is is uh, is kind of a a bleaker message. Okay. You know? So it's I think the connecting theme is that that there that it has a social conscious the the whole okay album. Uh, let's go uh, with the uh, third song here. Uh, it's called Time. 
So uh, let's talk about this. Dan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass this one to, to Elise. Well, yeah, I mean, ever since I started doing the music stuff and really getting into it, there's just so much to do, so busy. I mean, there's the choir, there's soccer, concerts, studio, homework, uh, musicals, taking care of pets, and keeping up with friends and family. There's so sure. much to so, do. So uh, you don't have enough time. Yeah, there's just simply not enough time, and so it can be really hard to keep up with it. And time can be really mean, you know? It goes fast oh, yes. and you're having fun. And... <laughs> we, we all know that. <laughs> yeah. Right. That was, I mean, the idea of the song is that, you know, sometimes when it goes by, uh, you know, too quickly when you're enjoying something, mm-hmm. and sometimes it drags by and it's like, is it my friend or is it not my friend? You know, time, it kind of switches back and forth. Okay, so, very uh, good. Very good. All right, we'll get to that right now. And then, because I've got a few more questions for you after this. Song is called Time. The name of the album is Simple Truth. And our guest tonight is Elise Dorian, right here on yourlocalnote.com. Time, it's never clear to me. Is it a friend or enemy? It's either dragging by or gone in the blink of an eye. And there's nothing in between. And the moments seldom seen. When we stop and let it go. But I know there in the silence of my room. When I lie and think of you. The song is called Time, and that's from the album Simple Truth from Elise Dodorian. And Elise, again, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, now, 
you were mentioning before the song how you you know you're really busy you're doing all sorts okay. of things do you also get in your head you'll see something that you're doing just in everyday life and say oh wow I, I think that would be a good idea for a song do you are you getting to, oh, to that point so you're yeah you've got I've all these got different ideas notes all over my desk of just different song ideas I'm not necessarily getting to them right now but uh-huh. there's plenty of ideas have, have you presented any to any to Dan uh, lately yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, they're very good. I'm very impressed with her, <laughs> her ideas in general. Okay. Um, so with uh, the songwriting, so you, you see that she has a uh, a good future as a singer-songwriter. Absolutely. And she, I mean, she picks things up so quickly. And I mean, she just, she got a ukulele recently. And okay. She, she's constantly just, you know, taking songs and figuring them out on the ukulele. And that, that just me shows a little bit of moxie, I guess. You know? <laughs> what, what what do you consider, uh, or what are you having more fun with right now, live performances or working in the studio? Oh, well, a huge difference. I mean, the studio, I love it and I hate it. It can be really frustrating when you have sung the song a million times and you feel like that's the best you're going to do, but it's still not good enough. And then again, when you finish, it's amazing. And um, being able to bring like a collection of emotions into a room and come out with a finished song, it's just great. And then there's singing live, which is so different. And there's a lot more that goes into it. You have to worry about tone and words and pitch and just stage performance. And this, um, and you only get one shot. Yeah, that too. It's a lot more nerve-wracking. So, so you have to learn it when if you do mess up a little bit how to just keep going and oh, yeah. so people don't really pick up on it. You just got to remember that you might do one thing wrong, but you're still doing everything else right. Right. So it's important to remember that. Okay, very cool. Uh, that's that's very good. So um, you did you did have a CD release party recently, mm-hmm. correct? And how'd that go? That was a lot of fun. I was really pleased with the amount of people that came out. Mm-hmm. And it was amazing. Afterwards, when I was signing autographs, there was these little girls that came up and they were shaking and kept coming back for <laughs> hugs and pictures. And I couldn't believe that people actually felt that way about me that I felt about stars. And it was just... Humbling experience? Yes. <laughs> but a fun experience. I was oh, yeah. shaking too, but it's from all the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> a little sugar rush, huh, Dan? Bit, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's talk about where people can find your music. All right, well, there's a lot of places. I'd start with iTunes, CD Baby, YouTube. Uh, then there's my website, which is being rebuilt right now. Okay. Um, and then Reverb Nation, Number One Music, Amazon. And you can look on YouTube. I have some music videos up. And then you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. All right. And it's just under Elise Dad- uh, Dadarian. Yep, everything's I, under Elise Dadorian. Spell the last name. Yeah. <laughs> D-A-D-O-U-R-I-A-N. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and uh, some of the um, other things that you're doing? You're a busy person. Oh, yeah. Um, well, right now I am I was casted as the lead in Guys and Dolls, which is Sarah Brown. Okay. So that's what I'm doing right now. You, well you enjoy being on stage. Work. Oh, yeah. It's great. Especially and it's different from performing your own songs. Yeah. Performing your songs is a lot more personal, whereas if you're being a character, I mean, obviously you get to be, you get to act and it's less exposing, I think. So do you, do you find yourself torn between, well, I'm going to concentrate on my music career, but I, yeah, I enjoy be- doing a stage acting yeah sometimes i question whether i want to do music or acting but i think music is what i really want to pursue at least for the near future okay far future as well <laughs> yeah okay um let's talk about um some live appearances now obviously you're going to be you're going to be very busy the next mm-hmm. couple of months with your stage work yeah um but you do have a show coming up when Dan? <laughs> uh, in August. In August? Uh, Crossing Vineyards. Okay. Winery up in uh, Bucks County. Got it, yes. And there will be some other shows filling in, but we'll let you know. Well, yes, I was going to say you're going to have to send it to us so we yeah. can get it up on our live events page and you can check out where Elise will be playing. That's excellent. All right. Well, we're going to wrap things up here with the last song and we got a special treat. You're going to be playing it live here in the studio. Whoop. We're looking forward to that. Only Trouble Is. Tell us about that song. Well... I think there is, I mean, there's a lot of things that we're doing wrong and a lot of things that are happening that are horrible, but we have to remember that there are, there's just as much that we're doing right and there are a lot of wonderful things. But I think the song means a lot more coming from, well, the youth. I think it has a more powerful message. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of saying what's wrong with the world and, uh, you know, but it's coming from the, from a kid. Kid's point of view. Right. Mm-hmm. 
as what what they see and how it's looking to them. That's right. So d- did you did you talk to to uh, Elise when you were writing this song? I did. Yeah. To so, sort of get her perspective. Her so do you do you throw out like topics like um, you know the financial crisis is uh, you know <laughs> exactly. do, you, do, you, do you get that uh, deep on it? Uh, uh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually, right. I take her a verse and a chorus, okay, and then mm-hmm. get her input on it. Okay, you know, what she what direction would she like it to go in? Or sometimes I'll say you know work on the. So you have to interpret verse. what she's what she's looking for. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be a challenge. It's uh, fun. I like a challenge. Okay, and does he does he do a good job interpreting your oh, your thoughts? Yes. Yeah, I I throw out these really crazy ideas a lot. Um, <laughs> I'll a lot of times I'll just find a song that I want this song to sound like. Um, so we'll just I'll throw out different ideas, and he has to turn that song into another idea. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but that's yeah, that's if how you heard it's like if you, if she liked a particular. Taylor Swift song. Could we mm-hmm. do something in this kind of vein? Got it, you know, right. Just to and then you try to certain feel. You try to put it together. Try to put it together, but make sure it, you know, it's not a rip off of that. Song. Right, of course. Yeah, no, but try to, yeah. try to the same tailor vibe. it to her voice as opposed to tailoring it to Taylor's voice. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, uh, Elise, it was Thanks a pleasure. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Dan, thank you. Sure thing. And Thanks. and Tom, I'm sorry we didn't really get a chance to, to talk to you, but uh, of course you'll be playing in, in just a, a second here. So we'll be hearing your guitar in, in just a little bit. But thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Uh, again, just want to quickly remind you uh, that we will have another podcast next week. And please let us know what you think, not only of this podcast, but of the website in general, uh, you can email us at contact at uh, yourlocalnote.com. Uh, my name's RJ. We're wrapping it up. Elise Dorian uh, live here in the studio from her album, Simple Truth. This is called Only Trouble Is on yourlocalnote.com. I could sing for you a song about an eagle and a dove flying peacefully together in a world filled with love. I can write for you a story that would spread across the land About a world where people help their fellow man I can show to you a photograph of children everywhere How they have enough to eat, a place to sleep, and those who care I could talk about how poverty is disappearing fast And how happy days are here again and last Only trouble is it's nothing but a lie Only trouble is couldn't look you in the eye It's the world they gave us Don't know what can save us Only trouble is that truth will make you cry I could say they signed a truce for every war around the world All the violence is over and a flag of peace unfurled I could say that we will silence all the guns forevermore In our lives we'll never fight another war Only trouble is it's nothing but a lie Only trouble is couldn't look you in the eye It's the world they gave us, don't know what can save us Only trouble is that the truth would make you cry Why don't you cry me a river Send your tears out to sea All the prayers undelivered Empty words, can't you see? I could sing of truth and righteousness And endless liberty That is given every person, man and woman, sea to sea I can speak about the justice, what is fair and what is right In a world that's bathed in blessed holy light Only trouble is, it's nothing but a lie Only trouble is, couldn't look you in the eye It's the world they gave us, don't know what can save us Only trouble is that the truth will make you cry Only trouble is that it's nothing but a lie Nothing but a lie